In the weeks following the discovery of a positive E. coli test in a Riviera Beach well, months after the test was conducted, Riviera Beach residents voiced concerns over whether their water was safe to drink. Questions arose about the quality of Riviera Beach's water back in January. That's when the city notified residents that a city well had tested positive for E. coli seven months prior in the month of June. We then uncovered additional records from the Florida Department of Health revealing more positive tests of the city's water supply. The utility called one result from early June a, quote, false positive and the city didn't respond to our questions about a test result from the month of August. But WPTV's chief investigator Jamie Ostroff continued to look for answers on this. Jamie joining us here tonight in studio as you continue to dig for answers for residents of the city of Riviera Beach. Yeah and I had to turn to an expert for this one. I hired a private independent environmental consulting firm to join me in Riviera Beach and with people's permission test their tap water. I first met Giselle Lowe in February. We should be made aware of what's going on with our water. After learning that a water test conducted by Riviera Beach at her next door neighbor's house in August of last year revealed the presence of coliform bacteria, Lowe was happy to have me come back in March. Because I think it's important to know that I'm getting good water. This time with an expert. Uh, we work um, and look at it and investigate um, environmental conditions uh, ranging from air quality to water quality and things like that. Simon Hassey is the scientific director for AirMD, an environmental consulting firm based in Boca Raton. AirMD has never been hired by Riviera Beach, correct? That is correct. Yeah. We asked Hassey to test Lowe's city supplied tap water to see if E. coli or coliform bacteria was present. Generally, Water quality served by the municipality, we don't find a high rate of uh, presence of coliforms. Generally, it comes from their enteric bacteria found in the intestinal tract of um, warm-blooded animals, insects, things like that. Conducting those tests properly requires attention to detail in order to get the most accurate results. Hassey had to find the right faucet. Okay, so yeah, so this one's going to be a problem. We can't use this. He explained that it must have separate hot and cold controls. It can't swivel and it can't have an aerator or filter on it. Because we don't want uh, interference in the, in the samples um, originating from like environmental bacteria or other bacteria that might be present in and around the faucet itself or biofilm buildup at the faucet head. Hassey decided this outdoor faucet was best. He sanitized the spout and flushed the line. Running the water for five minutes yeah, be and collecting his sample in a bottle designed to preserve the conditions of the water. Yeah, this is what you would expect the color of the water to be from a water sample. He filled out the paperwork put the sample on ice and joined us at another Riviera Beach home, about 15 minutes south of Lowe's. Do you want us to take our shoes off right now? Yeah. These homeowners did not want to appear on camera, but they gave us permission to test, this time in a bathroom. Hassey removed the aerator, sanitized, flushed, and collected. With the paperwork filled out, it was into the cooler and off to the lab the same day. A week and a half later, the results were in. The laboratory results indicate that uh, no coliforms, you know, total coliforms or fecal coliforms, were present in the water samples collected from the two properties. That's good news, Hassey says. Which would suggest and indicate that the water quality is favorable. But it should not be taken as a definitive answer to all of our questions about the drinking water in Riviera Beach. This was a snapshot in time and we did take some samples from very specific locations. Um, and, uh, you know, in general, you know, people should be aware of their water quality and, and implementing, you know, just good practices and hygienic practices. Well, Riviera Beach Mayor Ronnie Felder did not respond to my request for an interview in previous stories about the city's positive tests. I hoped he would want to talk about our negative tests. However, he declined any requests for an interview. Jamie Ostroff, WPTV, News Channel 5.